your warm up is either going to start with a 400 meter run, or if you're just getting the pulled outside, shut the doors, you can start exercising a 500 meter row. After one of your two cardio phases completed, you're going to come down to the ground. You're going to hit 30 glute bridges. Just remember in that glute bridge, driving through that whole foot, pressing through our shoulder, squeezing the glutes at the top for 30 reps. After 30, you can stand up. We're going to hit 20 air squats, just like normal feet shoulders apart, move slightly out, sitting back and down, pockets below our knees, standing tall. And then after 20 air squats, you're going to hit 10 high plank, two down dog. So starting here, no push up, but just letting yourself rock back in, pedaling feet at the top, getting those calves ready to work. Back through, and again, for 10 total reps. And then we're going to spend a little bit of time warming up that barbell. It's going to be three rounds with an empty bar. You're gonna start five empty barbell deadlifts. So maybe hanging onto that hook grip. Hands stay nice and relaxed, arms stay long. Knuckles are down, feet are directly underneath my hips. Toes are forward. I'm gonna hinge down, slide down the shin, come back up to the top, keeping core nice and tight. I'm trying to just stay calm and stay relaxed, loading my hamstrings. After five deadlifts, you're gonna work through five hang power cleans, making sure we're hitting pocket, getting down into that hang. And being fast to the top, elbows through in the catch, butt down as we catch. Come on back for another one for a total of five. And then after five hang power cleans, we're going to hit five thrusters. Full squat into that press. Your fourth open gym benchmark is all barbell with built-in reps. So I know a lot of you guys are going to like this one. It is a 20-minute AMRAP with 15 deadlifts, 10 hang power cleans, and then five barbell thrusters. When you finish your bar fifth barbell thruster, look at the clock, must rest one full minute. So you can't rest 59 seconds. If you want, you can rest a minute and a half, but you must wait one minute before we can get into that next round, getting back into those deadlifts. So with 15, right, we wanna keep core nice and tight. We want that barbell right over the top of our laces, toes forward, hands just outside my shoulders, using our hamstrings and our legs to stand that barbell up, not using our low back. I am pulling that barbell in with my lats to keep it nice and close. After your 15 deadlifts, we're then going to get into 10 hang power cleans. So reset into that pocket, down into that hang, big jump, pull it to the top. After 10 hang power cleans, we can go right into our five barbell thrusters. Full squat into that press. After your five, we will then wait a minute and start back over. The goal with the weight is to try to keep that full movement, the full rep scheme unbroken. We give you a minute and a rest to allow that to happen. We know towards the end, we're gonna get a ton of rounds in, grip is gonna start to go, core is gonna get tired, the butt's gonna be on fire. If we have to break it up, we'll break it up. Try your best to break it up in between those movements. So maybe working through instead of the full 15 deadlifts and dropping to get to that hang power clean, treat it like DT, drop with one deadlift to go. So that way, deadlift number 15, we can get back to the top. I'm ready to get back into my hang power cleans again. If you feel like you're gonna to have to break up before your thrusters, break up hang power clean number nine. Yes, we'll still have to deadlift to the top, but then at least we're gonna get a rep out of it to get back to our shoulder, to work into that full squat, full press. Be smart with your breakups. Maybe break up earlier and more often than you think. 20 minutes is a long time to hang onto that barbell. Any mobility today, getting core stretched out, starting with that cobra. So we'll come all the way down to the ground, lie flat, and try to do your best to press yourself back out. Do your best to try to keep your hips in contact. Don't come all the way up so we're not engaging that core. Keep the hips down, stretch out the abs. We're going to hold for about a minute and a half to two minutes. And then your other mobility piece today is that standing straddle. So feet as wide as we can get them, toes slightly out, sitting back and down. Stretch out those hamstrings, those hip flexors, stretch out those glutes. 